Hi, how you doing? This is Paul Kelly and this is Katie Mitchell and we're here uh, at the Temple of Human Performance. We're going to talk about a technique for scoliosis and we're going to talk about some things on patterning, neurologic patterning, and why we see the same types of things over and over again. Um, so first we're going to do a little assessment on Katie here and talk about patterning. So the first thing I asked uh, Katie is if she's right-handed. She's going to say yes. Some people are left-handed. That throws the pattern off. Um, if you throw, do you throw with your right arm? Yes. So Katie throws with her right arm, she played tennis with her right arm, so she'd probably be balancing on her left leg, and that's a typical pattern, right to left. So athletes that play sports that are unilateral, or people that do unilateral events, maybe using a mouse on a keyboard or on a computer, using the same arm over and over, resting your right arm forward, driving with your right arm, can create a scoliotic type pattern in the rib cage. So what I wanna look for on somebody when they come in is how much point do they have in the front of this right shoulder versus that left shoulder. And if I'm looking at Katie, I can see a little more point here, and I can do a spring test by just coming in and making a web and taking the front and the back and just springing that and seeing if this rib cage wants to pop up. And it will on Katie. You can see how when I spring that, that thing is just popping up. So we know there's some kind of pattern going on here with this shoulder. If I look at her ribs, she was just talking to me about this left rib sticking out on the rib cage. Why does that left rib protrude? Well, it becomes from this fascial dynamic that we have going from right to left in her rib cage. So what Katie will be is a little tight here in the diaphragm on this right side. So we're gonna demonstrate a technique on the table to treat a right pattern from right to left hip, and we're gonna work on this fascial uh, diaphragm pattern too. So Katie's gonna get on the table here. This is kind of a quick look of what this would look like in Katie if she was severe, a right thoracic scoliosis. So we're gonna to attempt to try to open up the front of this shoulder to relieve some of this curve here and take it out if she had a severe scoliosis, which she doesn't, but we're just acting.